Hello, I'm High Heel Knight. Welcome to my channel. These are my non-spoiler thoughts on Bumblebee. Now, even though this is a non-spoiler uh, presentation, I am going to mention some key moments. That way you'll be sure to enjoy the whole experience. Uh, for instance, if you're there to see the Cybertron stuff, that happens at the beginning of the movie. So be sure to get to the theater on time, okay? 90% of the Cybertron stuff is the first two minutes of the film. Get to the theater on time, okay? Uh, and as far as that other 10%, that happens later on in the movie. There are moments in the trailer that are in the movie, but they don't play in the order that they do in the trailer. So when you're watching the scene, you want to, oh man, what happened to that moment? I'm mad. No, it will come. Just wait for it. In fact, there's only one key moment that I remember from the trailers at the time of the movie, and it's a line from John Cena. That's it. Other than that, like the, all the Cybertron stuff that you saw in the trailer, it is in the movie. So just wait for it. All right, as far as John Cena, he was very fun, very cool. Not, you know, a, an excellent performance, not a, you know, game change performance, but it's nice. And along with the other human characters, all nice, all wonderful. They were not the cringing human characters that are in the Michael Bay Transformer movies, including the parents. I don't know what it is about parents and Michael Bay or, or these people behind these movies or, you know, whatever, but uh, these parents, they were not not as annoying. In fact, they were a lot more justified than the other parents in the other Transformer movies. And I enjoyed this movie from beginning to end. Oh my goodness. And when I say enjoy, I mean, I wasn't cringing every five minutes. When action happens, there's not a lot of action, but when action happens, you can tell what is happening on the screen. You can tell who is who and what is what. And there isn't an audio-visual nightmare like Michael Bay has done. Okay, Michael Bay doesn't want to make these movies. He's never wanted to make these movies. So going forward, if you got to just give him a producer credit for now on, fine. Keep him out of the director's chair. He doesn't belong there. He doesn't want to be there. Let this team do these Transformers movies for now on because they clearly know what they're doing. They have a little... Uh, homages to other films that have happened. There's a little homages to uh, the, the cartoon. There is a moment that is straight from the cartoon. Keep your eyes open. You will know it when you see it, but it is so cool and it's just enjoyable. Not a lot of action, not a lot of spins, not a lot of romance, but it's just enjoyable. I compare it to uh, Iron Giant and Solo, a Star Wars story. With Iron Giant, you got a young, semi-misfit, kind of an outcast, uh, lonely uh, kid who befriends uh, a giant attack robot with amnesia, <laughs> okay? So on that front, it's charming and wonderful. You know, it's that uh, weird type of kooky kind of uh, family fun. And then with Solo, A Star Wars Story, that was the movie which was an origin story that no one really needed, asked for, or wanted. And when you see it, you're like, oh, okay, that was nice. Whereas in Bumblebee, we didn't need it, we didn't ask for it, we didn't want it, but you're thankful that it exists because it treats the property so well. You're like, thank you, thank you. Let this movie be successful. That way they will make more movies like this and not the nonsense that Michael Bay has done. And another key thing to know is that this movie is in a tangent timeline. And it has to be a tangent timeline because this movie takes place in 1987 and Bumblebee uh, first crash lands there. Whereas uh, the other Transformers movies, he's uh, <laughs> he was fighting in World War uh, II or something like that. So unless they really want to try to, you know, you know, shove it to the same timeline. No, no, this has to be some type of adjacent timeline like uh, the Logan and um, Deadpool movies are to the X-Men films, okay? So yeah, going forward, this team, let's do it. This uh, character design, let's do it. Oh my goodness, there was nothing major I hated about this movie. Only thing I didn't like were just some personal things, including the credits. The credits just flashed by and sort of scrolled by. I wanted to see who was in the movie. And there isn't an after credit scene at all. So once the credits start, if you want to leave, go right ahead. There's no big surprise or anything like that. But yeah, enjoyable. Not fantastic, not wonderful, not incredible but enjoyable. You will have a pleasant time in the theater and you will appreciate this team respecting the Transformers property. And please, please, can we get a full movie that is like the first two minutes? Let's make a feature film like the first two minutes of this film and all will be right with the world. <laughs> okay, so those are my non-spoiler thoughts about Bumblebee. I'd love to know what you think. Feel free to ask any non-spoiler questions in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight. Remember, Find inspiration everywhere.